Hi, this is Justin Coletti. You may know me from Sonic Scoop, but today I am on the Plugin Lines channel, and we've got the privilege of talking to Maddox Chim, aka Mad Mix. He has been working in the audio world for a long, long time. He is a mixer for some pretty big artists, notably in hip hop, in trap, in Latin styles. He's worked with 21 Savage, the big Latin artist Camillo, Laura Puccini, Labyrinth, and a whole bunch more. Maddox, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Justin. Now, the excuse we have to talk to Maddox today is that Unfiltered Audio has just come out with a new plugin called Lo-Fi AF. And Lo-Fi AF is a lo-fi plugin that does a whole bunch of different types of sound mangling. Uh, and let's get into it and talk about all that it does. So Maddox, thanks again so much for uh, being here. You did recently a walkthrough and demo video on the kinds of sounds you can get out of this unfiltered audio plugin. I think this is actually the first unfiltered audio plugin you've used. I think once you get bitten by the unfiltered audio bug, people rarely give up on their stuff because yeah. there's just uh, so much cool stuff out there, biome and uh, so many more. But uh, let's get into talking about this lo-fi AF. Anything in particular here that you thought was special or unique about this that you're not used to seeing in other plugins? Yeah, so as far as the lo-fi plugin, you know, I'm, I'm usually using lo-fi plugins with literally three different uh, um, settings or parameters you could change. But this one, they have a whole bunch of uh, sections and knobs you could just turn and have fun with and experiment and get really creative with um, making your audio lo-fi. And um, I think, you know, it's a really flexible plugin for something really, um, um, I guess, not your typical lo-fi plugin would have. Yeah. Uh, like all the unfiltered audio stuff, there's a ton of controls in there, but they still kind of somehow make it seem pretty seamless and easy to use. It looks like there's kind of four major sections in there. Can you kind of walk us through the basic idea between each of those major sections? Yeah. So there's a convolution section. And what that is, is pretty much impulse responses of, um, you know, they have different types of convolutions like cell phones, uh, a toy, um, different types of microphones, uh, dark microphones, faulty microphones. And you can run your, your audio through that and process it through those uh, convolutions. Gotcha. So they're basically using impulse responses to model kind of weird and esoteric electronic mm -hmm. devices so you can have the sound yeah, sound exactly. like you're coming out of all sorts of weird electronic devices. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, what's the, uh, the next section in there after the convolution? So the next section is uh, the spectral section. And this section has a pitch shift and it has a, a MP3 section or a knob where it kind of degrades the bit rate of the, the audio. So it sounds like a lo-fi MP3 that you would download back in the day, like on LimeWire or Napster or something like that. All of a sudden, that stuff is now vintage. I think we're showing our age here at Maddox. Little do the people know. Uh, and then so you've got the, uh, the spectral section, you've got that convolution section, and then there's two more. Yeah, so the next section is the digital section. And this one is pretty cool. It's like um, when you would burn CDs back in the day after downloading your MP3s and you didn't have those <laughs> you didn't have those sleeves that you would put the CDs in and you just lay them out everywhere and they'll get scratched up. So there's a section that kind of emulates that and it has a skip time and you could decide how fast or slow you want the, the disc to skip and how aggressive you want it to skip with the, um, what was the other knob? It was the, it's pretty much the uh, skip chance i think that's what that's what they called it yeah i don't think i know of any other plugins that have taken this approach of doing some of this contemporary lo-fi stuff in addition to some of the stuff you're more likely to expect which brings us to that last section i think is the analog section and maybe there uh, is going to be a little bit more familiar to some people yeah so the analog section is definitely you know more vintage more analog you can definitely um, add you know tape hiss um, vinyl crackles and pops there's a, actually a uh, radio interference section where you can introduce interference into your signal and um it's like a, a wheel where you turn like on a ra like an old school radio and just dial through the frequencies and introduce the static noise like you would get on a radio station or something wild now we're talking about some of the more unusual things in this plugin but i imagine mm -hmm. it also does some more subtle lo-fi stuff i know there's a conventional bit crusher in there that a lot of people are yeah. used to in lo-fi plugins uh how do you find yourself using this more subtle more extreme is it a mix of both and what kinds of elements do you find yourself using this tool on uh, for me i would say a little bit of both um a little extreme on some things and a little bit you know more subtle on things like for i would use this on maybe like some background 
ad-lib filter vocals. Um, so I wouldn't go too extreme with that. I, I like the filter in the analog section. And um, maybe I would uh, use the convolution, convolution section with that just to give it like a cool um, a sound like it's coming through like, you know, a, a toy or like a cell phone um, because that works really well for background vocals or uh, uh, ad-lib vocals, I mean. And um, I would use it on the synth and kind of use the, the static and the vinyl and the interference and kind of just bring the, the, the synth to life a little bit. It just adds character to the, to the uh, synth. Yeah, very cool. So more kind of individual instrument treatment rather than buses and stuff, I imagine. Yeah, I mean, I could see this being used a lot. Maybe if you were maybe sound designing um, things I needed super lo-fi things, I think this would be really great for that too. Yeah, I think there's probably a whole world of possibility too in using this kind of thing on even mix master bus treatment mm -hmm. where it's been a classic effect, you know, in past making things sound like they're coming out of a radio or coming off a vinyl record yeah, and exactly. they open up into real life. And now there's a whole new era worth of types of lo-fi that you could experiment with those mm -hmm. sounds with on, you know, whole mix bus applications as well. All right, if you guys got to try this out for yourselves, I mean, I think that's the way to really play with something as fun as this tool. And you can try it out for free for 14 days over at plugin-alliance.com. So check it out, plugin-alliance.com, where you can try this or anything else they make for free. Or just get the mega subscription bundle. It's one of the biggest steals in the world of pro audio out there. Maddox, are there a few other Plugin Alliance plugins that you find yourself using again and again on your mixes? Yes, I love using the, uh, the BX consoles. Um, since I'm totally in the box now, um, the BX console is like my first go-to thing for analog, um, for that analog sound. Literally, you could just run your plugin through it and I'll just go through the, the, the analog channels with the randomized button and it just sits things in the mix that you would have never thought it could do. Yeah. Which uh, particular BX consoles are your favorites? I know they got the Neves, they got a few SSLs, they got the Amec now. Yeah, I've been using the, um, the SSL, I believe the 9000 is what it was. Oh, cool. Yeah. That one's great for hip hop, especially. Yeah. yeah. And the AMEC, uh, the 9099. I have some presets for that as well. That's coming out. Yeah. I see that up on the screen right there behind you. Did you ever use one of those in person? The original AMEC 99 consoles? I haven't. No, 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 no. So the studio I was at, they had a bunch of SSLs in it. So. So you have strayed from the SSLs and now into the even <laughs> kind of cleaner and more modern 99 feel, but yeah. uh, very cool. I think most of the most flexible console channel strip they've made so far. All right, so Maddox, if people wanted to keep up with you, where are the best places for them to find out what you've been up to, what's going on in your world? Yeah, so you can follow me on social media at Madmix, M-A-D-D-M-I-X, and you can find, you know, all my work on there and everything that I do on there. All right, good stuff. Definitely uh, check out Mad Mix, Mr. Maddox Chim. Thank you so much for joining us here. This has been Justin Coletti on the Plugin Alliance channel. If you want to try out this or any of the other Plugin Alliance plugins totally for free, just go to plugin-alliance.com. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you next time.